Hey folks, this video is about a butterfly that has a very special talent. It actually lays eggs, a bunch of eggs, in the shape of a pyramid. And I'm not kidding you, check this out guys. We're talking about the Tawny Emperor butterfly. Uh, we found some females here in South Florida. We're gonna bring you on a little journey about how we got eggs and we're gonna show you a pyramid of butterfly eggs. Check this out. A little bit stealth here and see if we can grab, yes. All right, check it out. Nice, fresh female tawny. Uh, look at the size of the abdomen on that girl. Let's see if we can get a good, good up close pick here. Look at the size. Guys, look at the size of the abdomen on this tawny emperor. All right. Another nice female tawny. Guys, we've got a lot of tawnies for egg laying, and that's going to be plenty. So out of these, we should definitely have uh, enough. All right, guys, we've got, I think, three female tawnies, two female red admirals, a female question mark, and a female viceroy. So we got four species here in this one container. And what we do is I've got a cooler here that's got some ice in it. Actually, it's not ice. They're ice packs. And what we do is we'll put this in a cooler with some ice packs. We don't want it to get cold, cold, but we want it to get chill enough where the butterflies will stay nice and calm for the drive home so we can get them set up for egg laying. And so I'm just gonna make sure that that's tight. Okay, uh, guys, we're gonna, we need to get eggs from our tawny emperors. And so what we need is hackberry. Hackberry are these trees that are basically making up the entire canopy of this hammock. And so that's why there's so many of them here. What we need is some fresh hackberry leaves, uh, like this. This looks great right here, guys. See this right here? Nice, fresh hackberry leaves. This is uh, Celtus. And I'm going to use a knife. Always keep a knife with me. And I am going to I'm going to cut some hackberry and that stem should be big enough for me to put in a container with the tawny emperors so that we can get some eggs and guys I'm gonna do the same thing with the question marks it's on the hackberry so I'm gonna put a little bit of water in a ziploc bag and let's see how I do this we'll see if this all fits Kind of bend the stems. <clears throat> Try to slide them inside. Yeah, we fit. We fit. It's tough. Uh, it will wilt pretty quickly. I got all my hackberry stems in one bag. I'm going to pop them in my cooler. And when we get home, we'll set them up for some egg laying. All right, now that I'm going to be raising these, uh, <laughs> these hackberry butterflies, guys, you need to have a host plant that's close to your house. Uh, there is a tree, there's a Celtus tree that's about probably four miles from my house. It's not too far of a drive. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to get get out and take a look at the health of the tree. It looks very healthy. So it looks like I have all the host plant that I need uh, if I need to come and take some cuttings. Uh, it's a very healthy plant. So uh, this is it. Celtus, let's see if I can show you the, some of the leaves real quick. They've got this long teardrop, teardrop shaped leaf and um, trees are big, they get pretty big. Usually they have saplings everywhere. They must keep this pretty well mowed, but it's a big one. So plenty of biomass here, guys. I can raise tons of butterflies on this. It's just a little bit of a drive, and uh, I'm grateful that I have this as an opportunity to get some host plant when need be. So, uh, 
we'll get come back if we need to. All right, guys, so I have my Tawny Emperors, three of them anyway, set up in a cage, or actually a net. It's not much of a cage, it's more of a net. Uh, it's my, it's actually a net bag right here. And what I have it, I have it resting on top of the limbs of another plant to try and give it a little support. They have plenty of room to walk around in there. And I suspect that they'll lay eggs. I've got some banana resting on top of the net so that they can, they can access food if they want to. I'll probably squish it in the mesh a little bit. Okay, I've got a banana inside as well. I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> All right, I've got three female tawnies right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna untwist that. I'm gonna bring this up. And I'm going to place my tawny emperors deep inside. Let them wake up. And then I'm going to twisty tie. Last step. So I'm gonna put a couple bananas right on the top. So if they want to come to the top, which they normally do, they have something to eat. Now, placement of this is going to be a little interesting. You don't want it in direct sunlight. So, all right, so I'm going to put it on a table right here on the side of my house. Butterflies are in constant contact with the host plant. The host plant, uh, their, their taste buds are on their feet. So when they crawl on the host plant, they should get stimulated to lay eggs and uh, there's three butterflies in here they've got food let's see how this works compared to the butterflies we set up in the cages on the living host plant so that's kind of a little bit of an experiment that i'm doing i know she's gonna lay me eggs guys i know it let's check this out okay. all right guys it's noon the next day and i've got bad news um i came to check my tawny emperors in my sleeve here and it looks like a colony of white-footed ants found them and guys all my butterflies are dead in fact uh one of them i got I, it, they're completely eaten there's another one up here you can see the butterfly here it's almost completely gone but the ants got into my sleeve and did a number. And so that's part of the problem with doing anything outside. It's very upsetting. I'm gonna see, did, I don't know if they laid any eggs and so we're gonna check the trap now or check the, uh, the sleeve. <sighs> Gosh, this is so upsetting, man. Yep. All right, so not only did they take the butterflies, but you can see them running up and down the freaking stalk with eggs. So they're, they're absolutely all over these limbs. The butterflies must have started laying eggs and the ants are just taking them. So um, let me see if I can show you this. And that's That is a bummer because that was... Literally half of my, half of my uh, harvest yesterday. And that's why, you know, some people wonder like, Dave, why did you take six females? Wouldn't one be enough? And the answer to that question is one would be enough. If I had one female and she laid all the eggs that she would and, and, and it was a perfect setting, uh, one would be more than enough. I don't need, you know, they, they lay a, a lot of eggs, but things like this happen and so that's why you know we take several we we don't put all of our eggs in one basket you know not to do a silly pun but uh you know i've got over here let me show you guys my i had to move my uh i had to move them because the sun was coming up on the east 
There's no ants in here, and my hackberry butt. Oh, wait, there are ants. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, guys, the ants have also found this one. And I have to go and save my butterflies real quick, guys. Uh, this is not this is not a good moment for me. I'm so sorry. I got to bring these in. All right, guys. So two of my butterflies are alive. Unfortunately, uh, even in this container, guys, I had uh, one casualty here, and it. The ants got to this butterfly, and look at this, guys. This is probably the abdomen, and they're just eating the abdomen and taking all the eggs out and carrying the eggs back to their nest. So I, <laughs> this is a very upsetting moment, and um, I, I'm a little bit perturbed because they weren't like, it's not like these were right next to each other. The, the ants found them, and they're doing their thing. That's exactly what ants do. And I'm trying to, I need to find a place where I can put this, <laughs> this, uh, the rest of these butterflies in and have them actually lay eggs without ants getting in. So um, I'm going to, uh, with great pleasure, exterminate all of these ants and uh, set these two butterflies here back up. I'm going to try and get them some food and I'm going to set them back up so that they can try and give me some eggs. Not a good, not a good morning for me, guys. Not a good morning. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like they're done eating. I had fed them before I started to film. I just gave them some of my old apples from the trap. And, uh, you know, her abdomen is a little large hopefully hopefully these girls wake up a little bit and uh and decide to give me some eggs <laughs> she doesn't want to go into fruit she's like i don't want apples i want bananas all right well i'm gonna set their cage up um, for now, I'm just going to put them underneath here so they don't fly away. Um, I have my coffee brewing over there, but let's set this thing up. All right, I've got hackberry that I cut at the site where we found these girls. And nice growth. Had it in some water. It's looking pretty good. One thing you want to make sure before you put anything like this inside... You gotta make sure there's no spiders <laughs> or predators in your in your container, which there was a spider right there, so. <clears throat> Alright, so I have I have hackberry on the very surface of this thing on the very top and all the way down, including down the bottom. So if the butterfly gets lodged down here, it has something to crawl up on. So now it's just, it's okay. This is, I'm almost done. I'm just putting these girls in here. I'm gonna put these girls in here and hopefully, hopefully they quick lay me some eggs. And then what I do is I put the top on. And these air vents here, which we created, will keep the container from sweating too much. So hopefully we'll put this in the, I'll put this in a window sill so it has some dappled sunlight. And we'll see if we can get these girls to begin laying eggs. I'll put it right here and we'll see if we'll see if they produce any eggs for us all right guys super exciting moment uh <laughs> when we were i had these this tawny emperor female in this container for the last four days and i kept checking the plant and there's no 
signs of eggs. But today was a great day because I looked on the paper towel and look at what she did on the paper towel, guys. Right there, I've got, I'm guessing, 100 Tawny Emperor eggs sitting on the paper towel. And that's super exciting. Actually, I've got some question mark eggs right next to it. It's got a question mark in the same container. But um, that's super exciting, guys, because now we're going to be able to document the Tawny Emperor life cycle. Look at the pyramid. They make a pyramid of, of eggs, and they just sit there in one spot and lay and lay and lay until they get this pyramid thing going. Oh, man, that's so exciting. Guys, I'm, I'm excited. We're going to show you this beautiful butterfly's life cycle coming short. Unfortunately, guys, um, we did, had a lot better footage of these eggs in this process, but in the process of doing this project, we had a very unfortunate thing happen. My external hard drive where we were storing all of the video footage kind of went um, on the fritz <laughs> and completely fried. And I actually sent my uh, hard drive out to Geek Squad and a few other companies to try and restore the data. Uh, but for some reason, it just it just died. All of, I lost all my data. So uh, we were able to recover some of the video footage and some of the pictures from sort of like the cloud when we download from our from stuff that I took from my phone onto my computer. We were to recover some of that, which is what we made this video with. But um, lost a lot of that good footage. So I think we're going to go back and try and repeat that maybe next year or something like that. But we were able to get some fair footage, some fair images of the butterfly pyramid that the Tawny Emperor makes, this egg pyramid. So uh, guys, we've got a lot more videos coming on the life cycle of Tawny Emperor. Stay tuned for those, give me a thumbs up. Uh, on this video, if you were entertained at all, um, or if you learned something about the Tawny Emperor. Uh, plus, we have a Wacky Worms video where we're gonna go over the entire life cycle in a very short amount of time, tell you everything we know about the Tawny Emperor butterfly. So guys, like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, let's get out there, enjoy South Florida, and let's go find a pyramid, uh, a, a pyramid-making butterfly, Tawny Emperor. Take care, guys.